commentary. Each one of us should think it over and see whether or not we ourselves have these obstructions. If so, we should break through them. And if we don't have them, we should be even more courageously vigorous in staying far away from them. The obstruction of being distant from the Buddha's proper teaching. See how many people in the world say Buddhism is incorrect, is superstition. They are obstructed by being distant from the Buddha's proper teaching and don't even know it, thinking themselves pretty fine. The obstruction of not seeing good companions means that one doesn't like to see them, but instead wants to go see bad companions every day. Beneficial companions are those who help you out, but harmful companions are those who are always gossiping about rights and wrongs. We shouldn't draw near good companions and keep our distance from the bad ones. The obstruction of finding it hard to plant good roots. You want to plant some good roots, but you can never quite bring yourself to do it. The obstruction of increasing in unwholesome dramas means that unwholesome dramas grow. The obstruction of being in low and violent situations. This could mean that one's features are very ugly. One's eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind don't grow the proper way. The seven features grow together. The eyes where the nose should go, and the nose where there should be eyes. Wouldn't you say that was ugly to look at? The five sense organs are all inverted, which looks very grotesque and repulsive. The obstruction of being born in the border region in which one does not see the Buddha, hear the Dharma, or meet members of the Sangha. The obstruction of being born in a household of evil people, so that when you want to study the Buddha Dharma, they forbid you to do so. As soon as the parents hear their child would like to study Buddha Dharma, they consider it worse than murder and they won't allow it. Being born in such a family where the parents were afraid of their offspring studying Buddha Dharma is also a causal condition which obstructs the way. The obstruction of being born among evil spirits. Sometimes if you create devil karma, you end up reborn among evil spirits or among evil dragons. Another kind of evil spirit as are evil yakshas, yaksha ghosts, evil gandavas, evil asuras, evil garudas, evil kinnaras, evil mahuragas, any evil members of the Eightfold Division or evil rakshasas, rakshasa ghosts. Those are all obstructions. The obstruction of not liking the Buddha Dharma means that as soon as you hear it, you protest. The obstruction of practicing dramas of foolish youths wanting to act like a kid, scrapping and jumping around, being naughty and playing from morning to night is also a situation which obstructions the way. The obstruction of having formed attachment to the small vehicle. You like the small vehicle and not the great and say, you think your great vehicle is so great, but I'm simply not going to study it. The obstruction of not liking the great vehicle means having no liking for great vehicle Buddha drama. The obstruction of one's nature being often startled and alarmed when he said, with those kinds of sudden fright when one's mind is not proper and upright. The obstruction of one's mind being constantly worried and troubled. If you are never happy about anything, but always depressed and worried with loss of anxieties and afflictions, you have causes and conditions which obstruct the way. The obstruction of fondly clinging to birth and death Liking to revolve on the will of birth and death just means being very fond of the love and emotion within it. All that is an obstacle. The obstruction of not concentrating on the Buddha Dharma. You don't study the Buddha Dharma with one pointedness of mind. That figure is already a big deal if you come bow to the Buddha every now and then. Actually, there's nothing single minded about it. As soon as you return home, you resume your gambling and drinking and going 
to see shows concentrating on those kinds of things and not upon the Buddha drama. The obstruction of not liking to see or hear of the spiritual penetrations of self-mastery of a Buddha. You do like to hear it said that there are spiritual penetrations within Buddhism, not even on the part of the Buddha, much less about those held by Bodhisattvas. You don't want people to have spiritual powers, and that's an obstruction. The obstruction of not obtaining the faculties of a Bodhisattva. You don't obtain the state of the interchanging functioning of the six sense organs or the clear eye and keen ear a Bodhisattva has. That's an obstacle. The obstruction of not cultivating the pure conduct of a Bodhisattva. The pure conduct of a Bodhisattva is that which contains no defined dramas, but that doesn't appeal to you. The obstruction of shrinking back from the deep minds of a Bodhisattva, fearing to be kind, compassionate, joyous, and renouncing with the four unlimited minds of a Bodhisattva. The obstruction of not making the great vows of a Bodhisattva. You don't want to bring forth the kind of vast great vows made by Bodhisattvas. The obstruction of not making the resolve for all wisdom means not wishing to resolve yourself on the study of all wisdom. The obstruction of being lax and neglecting the conduct of a Bodhisattva. You keep neglecting to cultivate the six paramitas and ten thousand conducts of a Bodhisattva and don't ever feel like cultivating them. The obstruction of not being able to purify and regulate all karmas, the three karmas of body, mouth, and mind, the obstruction of not being able to attract and hold great blessings, to seek and plant great blessings, the obstruction of not being able to have keen power of wisdom, not being able to keenly intelligent and quick, the obstruction of being severed from vast great wisdom, cutting it off, The obstruction of not protecting and upholding all the practices of a Bodhisattva, the six paramitas and the ten thousand conducts. The obstruction of liking to slander the words of those of all wisdom, undermining everything people with wisdom say. The obstruction of leaving the body of all Buddhas far behind, becoming distant from the way of enlightenment of the Buddhas. The obstruction of liking to dwell in the states of all the hearts of demons. A prediction which obstructs you as well. A prediction which obstructs you as well. The obstruction of not single mindedly cultivating the states of a Buddha. Not concentratedly cultivating and maintaining the states of a Buddha obtains. That obstructs you too. The obstruction of not decisively making the vast vows of a Bodhisattva, the four vast vows made by Bodhisattvas, not being able to do so resolutely is an obstacle. The obstruction of not liking to deal together with Bodhisattvas who practice pure conduct, the obstruction of not seeking the good roots of a Bodhisattva, the roots of goodness a Bodhisattva has. The obstruction of one's nature harboring many views and doubts, having view delusions, thought delusions, and very heavy thoughts of doubt. The obstruction of one's nature constantly being stupid and dark, so one's mind is always filled with darkness and stupidity. Because of not being able to practice a bodhisattva fair, bodhisattva's fair and impartial giving, having the obstruction of not renouncing arise. Deciding one does not want to practice giving, because of not being able to hold the third common's precepts, having the obstacle of breaking precepts arise, since one can't cultivate it according to the precepts, one starts to want to break them, because of not being able to enter the door of patience, and not having the ability to endure all pain and suffering, having the obstruction of stupid. Harmful hatred and anger arise, so one wants to make trouble and do harm. Sutra, because of not being able to practice the great vigor of a Bodhisattva, having the obstruction of the filth of laziness arise, because of not being able to obtain all samadhis, 
having the obstruction of being scattered upright because of not cultivating prima paramita, having the obstruction of evil wisdom arise, the obstruction of lacking skill with, with regard to what is and is not the case, the obstruction of lacking expedient methods for crossing over living beings, the obstruction of not being able to contemplate with a bodhisattva's wisdom, the obstruction of not being able to understand and know a bodhisattva's dramas of escape, because of not accomplishing the ten kinds of vast great eyes of a bodhisattva, having the obstruction of one's eyes being as if blind from birth, because of not hearing an obstructed drama, having one's mouth be as if dumb and mute, because of not being endowed with the marks and characteristics, having one's nose and faculty be broken, because of not being able to discern and understand the languages of living beings, developing an obstruction in the tongue faculty, because of looking down on living beings, developing an obstruction in the body faculty, because of one's mind being very crazy and scattered, developing an obstruction of in the mind faculty. Commentary, because of not being able to practice the great courageous vigor of a bodhisattva, Therefore, having the obstruction of the filth of laziness arise. An example is complaining that one has to get up too early and gets to sleep too late during churn sessions and feels one's going insane from not having enough sleep. That's the obstruction of the filth of sloth. One decides one can't stand to be courageously vigorous and becomes lazy and remiss instead. Because of not being able to obtain all somebody's the proper concentrations and proper receptions of a bodhisattva, having the obstruction of being scattered arise. One starts having a lot of false thinking and afflictions in one's mind, a lot of scatteredness. As one sits in meditation, one feels very upright and uncomfortable throughout one's entire body and decides it would be better to go off and take it easy. One then becomes scattered which is this obstruction, because of not cultivating prana paramita, the drama of wisdom gone to the other shore, having the obstruction of evil wisdom arise. That means pleading one's own case, complaining the Buddha isn't compassionate. Why doesn't he help me out? One finds this and that fault in the Buddha and considers the Bodhisattvas totally wrong. Thus, evil, worldly wisdom and skill in argumentation. The obstruction of lacking skill with regard to what is and is not the case, that is, not being able to tell whether something is or is not in accord with principle. One can't distinguish that whole, what, whole true, what holds true and what does not, what is and what is not consideration of the way. The obstruction of lacking skillful and expedient methods for crossing over living beings. So one doesn't know how to employ expedient dharma doors to teach and transform them. That too is an obstacle. The obstruction of not being able to contemplate all states with a bodhisattva's wisdom. The obstruction of not being able to understand and know a bodhisattva's dramas of escape to transcend the world because of not accomplishing the ten kinds of vast great eyes of a bodhisattva, having the obstruction of one's eyes being as if blind from birth and unable to see things, because of not hearing an obstructed drama doors of perfect fusion, having one's mouth be as if dumb and unable to talk like a mute, because of not being endowed with the marks and characteristics, having one's nose faculty be broken and not grow properly because of not being able to discern and understand the languages of living beings and what they say, developing an obstruction in the tongue faculty, so one cannot speak, because of looking down on living beings, developing an obstruction in the body faculty, so it is not complete, because of one's mind being very crazy and scattered, developing an obstruction in the mind faculty, one is always going crazy in one's mind, no matter what comes up. One can't remain comp composed and even tempered 
and complete and contemplate with the level head but goes nuts instead since one's mind is not at peace obstructions to the mental faculty develop sutra because of not maintaining the three categories of vienna compartment developing an obstruction to body karma because of constantly giving rise to the four kinds of errors developing an obstruction to speech karma because of often producing greed anger and deviant views developing an obstruction to mind karma the obstruction of seeking the drama with a thieving mind the obstruction of severing the states of a bodhisattva the obstruction of one's mind shrinking back from a bodhisattva's dramas of courage the the obstruction of one's mind becoming lazy on the path of escape of a bodhisattva the obstruction of one's mind wishing to stop and rest from the doors of light of wisdom of a bodhisattva the obstruction of one's mind weakening in the power of mindfulness of a bodhisattva the obstruction of not being able to make a drill and maintain the thirst commons teaching dramas the obstruction of not being able to draw near to the bodhisattva's path of freedom from production the obstruction of not being able to practice the bodhisattva paths of non-loss and non-destruction the obstruction of following the position proper to the two vehicle and the obstruction of becoming far distant from the seed nature of all buddhas and bodhisattvas of the three periods of time disciples of the buddha if bodhisattvas were to give rise to a single thought of anger towards other bodhisattvas that would bring about doors of a million obstructions such as this why is that disciples of the buddha i have not seen any such drama as the great offense and mistake of bodhisattvas giving rise to thoughts of anger towards other bodhisattvas therefore bodhisattvas masattvas who wish to quickly perfect all bodhisattva conducts should diligently cultivate ten kinds of dramas what are the ten they are one's mind not abandoning any living beings thinking of all bodhisattvas as being first come ones never slandering any buddha dramas knowing that countries have no exhaustion or end bringing forth deep faith and delight in all bodhisattva practices not renouncing the resolve for body which is equal to empty space and the dharma realm contemplating body and answering the first commons powers diligently cultivating an obstructed eloquence teaching and transforming living beings without becoming tired and dwelling in all world systems without attachment in one's mind those are the ten commentary because of not maintaining the three categories of vinaya compartment developing in obstruction to body karma the three categories of vinaya compartment separate liberation vinaya compartment the separate liberation vinaya compartment prati moksha is that of the precept substance arising because one has perceived the precept drama with regard to the desire realm one still has outflows dhyana vinaya compartment the vinaya compartment that springs from still consideration dhyana uh, dhyana samadhi is that of the precept substance arising on its own because one has entered the samadhis of the form realm at this stage one still has outflows non outflow vinaya compartment the vinaya compartment that springs from the way which is that of the precept substance arising because one has entered non outflow samadhi here the text is referring to not maintaining the three wholesome karmic deeds that pertain to the body the precepts against killing stealing and sexual misconduct because of constantly giving rise to the four kinds of errors the four unwholesome karmic acts that pertain to the mouth loose speech lying harsh speech and double tongue speech and thereby developing an obstruction to speech karma because of often produce producing greed anger and deviant views the three unwholesome karmic acts that pertain to the mind deviant views meaning stupidity therefore 
developing an obstruction to mind karma, the obstruction of seeking the Dharma with a crooked, thieving mind instead of a straight mind. One steals the Dharma the way a robber steals things, and one's study of the Dharma is not genuine. For example, perhaps someone comes on the slide from another way place where they don't understand the drama to steal the drama from Gold Mountain Monastery. While they are there, they still fully listen to the sutras without saying clearly they have come from another place. Thus, this obstruction, the obstruction of severing the states of a bodhisattva by not believing in them, the obstruction of one's mind shrinking back from and fearing a bodhisattva's dramas of courage. One has defeatist thoughts of how it's too hard to cultivate the way, so one might as well give up instead of maintaining courageous vigor. The obstruction of one's mind becoming lazy and indolent on, one, on the path of escape from the three realms of a bodhisattva. The obstruction of one's mind wishing to stop and rest from and no longer study and practice. The doors of light of wisdom of a bodhisattva one feels like taking a break from them. The obstruction of one's mind weakening in the power of mindfulness of the body resolve of a bodhisattva and deciding it has no interest or meaning. The obstruction of not being able to make a drill and maintain the third karma's teaching dramas, that is the, Buddha, the Buddha drama. The obstruction of not being able to draw near to the Bodhisattva's path of freedom from production, the way to get free from production and extinction once and for all. One can't even approach it. The obstruction of not being able to cultivate and practice the Bodhisattva paths of non-loss and non-destruction of the resolve for body, the body mind. The obstruction of following the position proper to the drama doors of the two vehicles. Thinking the two vehicles are the right way to go in this obstruction and the obstruction of becoming far distant from the seed nature of all Buddhas and the seed nature of all bodhisattvas of the ten directions and the three buddhas of time. Disciples of the Buddha, if bodhisattvas were to give rise to a single thought of anger towards other bodhisattvas, that would bring about doors of a million obstructions such as these. Why is that? Disciples of the Buddha, I have not seen any such drama as the great offense and mistake of bodhisattvas giving rise to thoughts of anger towards other bodhisattvas. There couldn't be any such evil and wrong drama as one bodhisattva feeling hatred and anger towards another bodhisattva. A bodhisattva would never thoughts of hatred or anger. Therefore, bodhisattvas, masattvas who wish to very quickly perfect all the doors of practice, the conduct practiced by a bodhisattva, should diligently cultivate ten kinds of dramas. What are the ten? They are one's mind not ever abandoning any living being, but instead always being mindful of all living beings and wanting to teach and transform them. Thinking of all bodhisattvas as being thus come ones and having the same respect and reverence for them as one would for all Buddhas never slandering any Buddha dramas, the Buddha, the drama, or the Sangha, knowing that countries have no exhaustion to or end but are infinite, bringing forth the deep faith and delight in all Bodhisattva practices and always liking to cultivate them, not renouncing the resolve one makes for body, which one cultivates on so vast a scale that it is equal to empty space and the drama realm in extent. Contemplating enlightenment, body and entering the attainment of the first common powers, the powers which a Buddha has, diligently cultivating unobstructed eloquence, teaching and transforming living beings without becoming tired or fed up with and dwelling in all world systems, yet remaining without attachment to them in one's mind. Unlike we people who become fond of a world as soon as we get there and forget to return. Those are the ten kinds of Dharma doors which 
should be known and cultivated by those who wish to walk the Bodhisattva path.